hanging coffins. Okay, that's our ride. It's tourists. Kasama namin. Ang mga batang magagalit na mapapalo na mamaya. Konting-konti na lang. Ay, Archer ako. Ay, Archer pala na mapapalo mamaya. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Gusto ko itong mga trees na to. Ano tawag siya sa trees na yun? Ano? <laughs> Sasabi ko na nga ba? Baka nato yan. Alam daw niya yung tawag yan sa ano. Sa mga trees na yan. Puno. <laughs> <laughs> Yan yung ride namin So kapag pumunta ka pala dito Hindi kasama sa tour na binayaran mo Kasi yung package na, bin na binayaran namin Parang 3,800 Hindi siya kasama yung papunta sa hanging coffins um, Sa waterfalls Sa Marlboro Hills Iba pa pala yung fee na yun. Pero since 11 kami Nagbayad kami ng Mag 1,078 pesos so, um, age doesn't matter. Ganun pa rin yung pabayaran mo. Babay kuya, hindi mo alam mo na Babay kuya. Uy, kuya, come back! Titanic. Oh, na na naman si Kanchwe. Palo na yan. Palo na ang baby na yan. Ang makulit. So, ngayon na kami pumunta dito kasi bukas, marami ng tao. Eh, Friday today. Saturday at saka Sunday maraming tao kaya nauna na kami dito. Trots. Look at the view. Perfect. Super fun. Access hub, no stub, no guide, no entry. Access, then pedal. Which is hindi na kami magbabayad yan, kasi nga bayad na. <laughs> Bakit ba? Welcome back to Mama Bing's channel! <laughs> Shut up! Good. Focus yun. Focus yun. Okay, so uh, tagilis mo na tayo. <laughs> okay, push. So uh, before we reach hanging coffins, uh, which is one of the two traditional burial ways of Sagada, because we have two: the hanging coffins and then the stuck coffins. Stuck coffins are placed at the mouth of the caves. So uh, before we reach the hanging coffins, we will pass by the local cemetery. So uh, cemetery style was introduced by the Americans. Americans came to Sagada 1900s. They were the ones who introduced Christianity. Uh, Spaniards were never able to uh, colonize the Cordilleras because uh, Igorots were natural warriors. Oh, and they nice. uh, also because of the terrain. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here if you can notice, there is a vacant space at the tombs. So that space is reserved for their partners in life. Mm -hmm. So isa daw yan sa patunay na may forever sa sagat. Ay, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I, mm -mm. Okay. so if you can notice this uh, tomb here, mm -hmm. it says Reverend. So it means he is a priest. By the way, he is one of the first local priests of Sagada. But there is a vacant space, so it means he has a partner. Uh, the, uh, the religion that the Americans introduced in Sagada is Anglican, or the Church of England. And in the Anglican religion, the priests can choose to marry. Kaya may space sa tabi niya. So pag may space, ibig sabihin buhay pa yung partner, hinihintay pa. Ay, grabe naman yun. Medyo malagin. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. 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 So, uh, here in the local cemetery of, of Sagada, uh, we have a unique practice. If you can notice, there are uh, burned wood or remnants of bonfire uh, beside the tombs. 
Because during November 1, instead of candles, we use bonfire. Mm -hmm. So every tomb has their own bonfire. Mm -hmm. We light them around 5 p.m. in the afternoon. So uh, during that time, this hill looks like an inferno. Mm -hmm. oh. So uh, we use bonfire because number one, uh, before, a long time ago, uh, candles were uh, expensive. expensive and makukuha lang sila sa cities, Baguio or Ilocos and ang means of transportation dati is paglalakad or walking so they need to trek a long way just to get some candles so they decided to use bonfires instead so uh, here we also have uh, one of the national heroes he is a member he is a member of the SAF 44 Oh. The 44 fallen soldiers during the Mama Sapano massacre. Mm -hmm. uh, this area here is the veterans' tomb. So, uh, 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 this area belongs to the uh, heroes. Oh. And he is considered a hero, so he is placed here. Uh, but, uh, a big part of the 44 were Cordillerans or Igorots. If I am not mistaken, they are 16. Oh, okay. And uh, uh, those soldiers, they are given the chance to be buried at the libingan ng mga bayani. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, culture ng mga igorots is uh, you uwi ka sa hometown mo pag namatay ka. Kaya mm -hmm. uh, yung 16 na yun is inuwi sa kanika nilang probinsya. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. Kanite, huwag magtatatak ko. Mm -mm. Kasi. Ito ka sa kabila, kasi bang niya. From this area, you can see the hanging cafes then. Yung mga kasama nung maghahatid sa bangkay. Mag-iingay sila, sisigaw, papalakpak, just to make sounds. Then pag andito sila sa area na to is nag echo yung sound. Kaya siya tinawag na echo valley. Pero kung gusto nyo itry mag-sumigaw, pwedeng mag-volunteer yung isa. No, no, no. No. Wala tayong dalang patay. Kaya nga. Kaya nga. No. Wala tayong dalang patay. Paunahin mo na natin sa... Mountain climbing. Rock climbing. Sa mga gusto mag-try. Ika na ganyan. Ganyan ako. Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? So, kung papansin ninyo, you can notice there is a chair. 
So uh, that chair is, uh, we call that Sangadi in English, a death chair. So uh, that is where the uh, cadaver is placed at the last night of the week. So he will be placed in a sitting position and then he will be placed at the entrance of the house. He will be the one greeting the guests. So, this is the picture. So he will be sitting down, a bucket will be placed at the bottom because uh, the ones buried in the traditional way, they are not embalmed. So uh, their body will decompose faster. So during the first night, body fluids will start to come out of the body. So at the morning of the, burial, uh, the day of the burial, a group of men will come here first. They will set up the coffin, the coffin only. So they uh, use giant ladders, but some places that are placed higher, they use vines or ropes. So this is how they set up the coffin. So uh, they will place the coffin at the morning, at the afternoon, they will, the body will follow. So from the sitting position, he will be folded into fetal position. He will be wrapped in a special kind of blanket, only used for the dead. Then they will carry him manually. Mm -hmm. They will uh, pass it to each other. Actually, not just passing. Uh, some, they grab. Mm -hmm. Almost everybody wants to carry the body because they believe if some body fluids from the body drops on you, uh, it will uh, give you good luck. So, uh, <coughs> then he will be placed inside the coffin. He will be see uh, the coffin will be sealed. Uh, that is the last time that they will visit the uh, site. They will not visit them anymore during November 1 or death anniversaries or any special occasions. Because we believe that they will be the ones visiting us already. So uh, that is the reason why there is two styles. there are two styles of coffins here. The short ones and the long ones. But all of those ones are elders. The shorter ones, they are the ones placed in the fetal position or the traditional way. The longer ones, they are the ones who, were, uh, who adopted the Christianized way. Or oh. lying down. So uh, the reason why uh, they are placed in a fetal position, uh, Sagada before was a grassland. There were no pine trees here. Pine trees can only be found uh, near Kalinga. The one who makes the coffin is the one who will be placed inside. So uh, before he dies, he prepares his own coffin. Uh, if you can notice, there are painted words in the coffins, mm -hmm. like Lawagan, Bumitog, Sumbad, and Lakay Potlasen. Those are their Igorot names, because mm -hmm. here in Sagada, we have two names. We have our Christian name and our Igorot name. Mm -hmm. uh, our Christian names, it is the one that is registered at the birth certificate, uh, the one we use at schools, mm -hmm. at work. But in the community, uh, we use our Igorot names. Mm -hmm. Our Igorot names are derived from the names of our ancestors. It is passed to the next generation in that way they will not be forgotten. It is also one way to track your cousins. Mm -hmm. If you meet someone and you have the same uh, Igorot names, then most probably you are cousins mm -hmm. or you are, you are from one ancestry. Boy, dito ang sabi ko. Sabay-sabay, walang mauuna sa umaga o kaya sa ganitong uras. B-boy. Get a go with Baba. Okay, B-boy, wag ka mauna.